Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks. Today, The Hungry Gamer is back with another Kickstarter preview. And this is kind of a special occasion because you may remember I did a preview video of Omicron Protocol way back before they initially launched their Kickstarter, which they canceled as they wanted to rework some things, and they are now relaunching it. And one of the things that they're doing with their relaunch is they are introducing a solo mode and a free-for-all mode. And I'm gonna give you the 30 second lowdown of how these work and then just tell you my thoughts on them because I have gotten to try each of these uh, just one time, but I've gotten to talk with the designers about it and I wanna give you my first impressions of it. The solo mode is similar to the normal mode in that you are still controlling two or four characters of a faction. You'll see we have here some animals out there and just like the regular game you wind up with if you have four characters you get eight action points if you have two characters you get five action points and you're doing one of the scenarios like you always do with different scenario objectives you're working towards however the difference is there is no other faction and you are only facing off against the sims on the surface this seems like it would be really easy but each sim now gets special abilities and i'll just grab a couple of these here to kind of show you and you'll see the Baseball cap sims would all have this ability. Sims attack all characters in and adjacent to the target hex, while the this other type of sim has the ability to move faster. And there are four different potential abilities for each type of sim. And so what happens is when you spawn your sims at the start of the game, you put these abilities out and they stack. So as long as there are two of these abilities out, every baseball cap sim has those abilities. And the other thing that happens is, after each character activation, you will do a noise spawn of sims. So you'll wind up drawing more sim cards that will go out and will add on to the abilities of the sims already out there, making them stronger and tougher. You are able to get rid of these cards each time you knock out a sim you're able to pick one and get rid of it and if you happen to knock out all the sims of a certain type then you get to wipe all of their cards that's important because the harder mode of the game says that if you draw the fourth sim ability you would still put it out there and all three sim models of that type would get all four abilities so that means the only way to get rid of the abilities is to kill them all. So that's how the basic solo mode works. And then there's the free-for-all mode, which is exactly like a normal game, except you have up to four different players, each controlling one character from a faction. And it is literally a free-for-all. You're just playing through the scenario but by yourself. And there are a little bit different rules of activation, how many points you get and who gets to go when, but you can imagine how that works. For both of these, I'll say they have recorded some how to play videos for both of those modes, so do go check them out. Now, what do I like about these modes? Well, I'll start off with the free for all and say it's just pure chaotic fun. You got your one guy or girl or animal and you just run out there and you wail on things and you try not to fall into the trap of just wailing on one other person because then someone else is running around getting all the objectives. It's just a fun, fast way to play. And what is very cool about it is you bid on who gets to go first each round and you have these cards here. And based on what you're bidding, the higher number you bid, the more likely you are to go first, but then there's different things that happen depending on what your bid is. These are clearly prototype cards. And you can use each one of these cards only once. So you kind of have to gamble on what it is you want to do, how important is it to you to go first or not. The slower you go, the more things you might wind up getting. And I'll say, I think this is super cool with the solo mode, in addition to all the kind of chaos that's going on there. This is fantastic. Talking about the solo mode, I love this idea that you're out there and you have a quest to do and you're gonna go do it, but the Sims are out there and you have to take them on. And it is hard. 
I played through it, and I won when I got to play, but they've since adjusted the rules a little bit, and now it is really hard. These Sims can get really, really nasty if you don't control them. And I think it's a wonderful way to experiment with different factions, kind of learn how their abilities work. It's a lot of fun. I'm a big, big fan of it. The only quibble that I have with the solo mode is there is not, at this time, a solo mode that allows you to include another faction to play against. And that's perhaps me wanting too much, but I'm not the designer, so I'm allowed to want because I'm just a fan. But that's it. I think both of these modes are fantastic additions to the game, and it really opens it up to a whole bunch of different play styles. Now, for the solo gamer, it's quick, it's fun, it's fast, and it's a fantastic way to continue to play the game and I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of scenarios that they come up with for that mode. In the free-for-all mode, I'd already said this, but it's just total utter chaos and it is so much fun and i actually don't have any quibbles with the free-for-all mode other than maybe that's not something that you like maybe you like more of a team game so there you have it folks that is my thoughts on these two new modes for omicron protocol i have to say i'm a fan i think they're fantastic additions and if you are not already checking this game out, then you definitely, definitely should. If you need to know a little more how the game plays, they have gameplay videos. You can check out my original video that talks a bit about how to play, as well as gives my thoughts on the skirmish style of gameplay as well. Thank you all so very much for watching. If this was useful, please like, subscribe, share the video. As always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day wonderful day.